Hey there, YouTube. Uh, this is uh, HDK, Hyper Kaiser here. Um, here with a new deck profile, the deck I'm running now. Uh, I know it seems like I go through decks a lot, but uh, Ab Zero gave me another idea for something else I can run. Um, for now, it's it's doing okay, test wise. Um, I'm going to Mar to my locals again. Just tested out the new version of this, but you guys haven't obviously haven't seen it yet. Um, so, yeah, we'll, guess we'll get started with it. Um, three Neos Alias. Uh, basically 1900, uh, normal beats to go the deck. You guys should know what it is right off the bat from just seeing these. So, a uh, light hero beat, and it's, you know, it's big. People have a hard time to get rid of it sometimes. Um... Three Thunder King Ryo. Uh, you know, stops searching, special summons, and all that good stuff. And as usual, big beater, as the, you know, deck name Hero Beat comes. It's a big beat stick that they have. Most duelists have a problem getting around, so, you know, without wasting resources. Uh, Double Cider, Cyber Dragon. Uh, this is kind of fun. Obviously, special summons itself. Gets over a lot of things nowadays, and combined with the other stuff, is actually really, really big. So, Double DD Warrior Lady uh, gets rid of annoying synchros. Um, Samurai is also another big thing with this. Um, yeah, removes things, gets around, get, gets around annoying things that can really screw up your deck. So, yeah. Double Honest, since every, almost everything in the deck is in the monster wise is light, so helps to have that extra oomph when attacking. Uh, one Stratos for searching the aliases, you know. And one Spear Reaper. Uh, just because it can't be destroyed by, you know, by battle and always gets that nice plus one when it attacks directly, so it's nice to have uh, as defensive, especially against Samurai, because they can't get around it except for hand, so. We will move on to spells. Three Gemini Spark. Um, used with the Neos Alias, obviously that's the only real Gemini in the deck, but I feel you need to run three. I find two you don't see it as much. And with the hero, I run two Hero Blasts, so they it helps with the recursion just in case you drown to like one Alias, but you you know have three or two or three Sparks, so it's you know pl a good plus one. Not even really a plus one. This is, it's not even really a plus one, I guess. But either way, good to blow blowing crap up. So uh, two upstarts. Uh, these would be dualities if I had them, but I don't. So you know, upstarts pretty good for now. Uh, yeah, it adds a little uh, deck thinning to the deck. So can't really call it draw power since you're only drawing one card. So. Two Book of Moon. Um, I don't like running three in this deck, mainly because it's... I already have big beaters on the field, so I don't really have to worry about that much, as well as Thunder King negating, like, Synchro Summons and such, so... This, I feel I don't need to run three, so two is the perfect number in this right now. We'll see after, you know, testing it out. Uh, two MST. Because uh, back rows are quite annoying for this deck as well, because you're just trying to basically summon an attack. Um, just like some of Enigma said in that one video, which is kind of funny, but um, yeah, it helps get rid of annoying back rows and such. So. Uh, then we have the regular staples Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, oh, Rhoda. He call searches and then staples, so nothing really to explain here. So I only run one e call because you know there's only four targets in the deck for Rota and e call, so don't really need both or all three, excuse me. So then we come to the traps. 
Uh, we have double bottomless. Uh, I only run one solemn one solemn morning in this, so double bottomless is pretty good right now. Two uh, D prison uh, helps for those. Big things trying to attack over your guys. It, granted, it targets, but it can get rid of a lot of different other things. So you know, it helps. Double hero blast. Uh, this is the recursion for the aliases in the graveyard. Not to mention that you get to blow up something of your opponent. So it is a plus one, which I like. So dust shoot and mind crush. Um, both of these cards I find are necessary now because of the stupid six samurais that are out. If you open up Dust Shoot turn one, if you open up both turn one, you're pretty, you're most likely going to win that game. Just because you know what they have, so you can send a monster back. Plus, you get to get rid of anything else that you find you don't like in their hand. So, uh, so even granted on their own, they're still pretty good because with number nine crush, you can get rid of that keys on or. Grandmaster, whatever they decide to search with their hand. And this, obviously, if you open up with it, it's pretty hurting for the opponent. So, two really good cards to have. Um, solemn Warning, Solemn Judgment. Uh, obviously, Staples right now. I don't like running more than one Warning. I know before I said I don't like running Warning at all, but now that Sam's right, I feel I need to really need to run at least one. So you're able to, I picked one up, so, and it happened to be ulti when I thought it was going to be ultra, which is pretty cool, but, um, yeah, that'll be a nice, these are, you know, obviously stables now, so. Then we've got Oppression, Torrential, and Mirror Force. <laughs> obviously this deck is considered anti-meta, so Oppression is almost mandatory. Uh, torrential you know, clears the field in case they decide to start swarming and you probably won't have more than two monsters out at one time so it's not really that big of a setback for you and Mirror Force as always puts in work it's a giant wall of destruction that your opponent can try to get out of but you know um, that's pretty much it for the deck um, let me know what you guys think. Any fixes or anything you might suggest besides Pot of Duality since I cannot get them right now. Unless you want to help me out and trade them to me, which I will send. I will have a link to my Pojo trades and stuff down at the bottom there. Um, yeah, I'll still post trade binders up once in a while, but mostly just, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing mostly Pojo stuff. So check my, uh, have, I'll have my thread and stuff like I said down there. Um. Oh, and I will probably I will probably post uh, two box openings on Monday. Uh, one Storm of Ragnarok, one Duelist Genesis. Um. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, my Mega Man Let's Play. I will try and finish that. But I am getting very tempted to just go on to X Four. But I will probably try and finish that as soon as I can. Um, anything else I wanted to say? Uh, shout out to uh, Mega Capital G. Uh, I actually, you know, I heard, I saw his video, his deck got stolen, so I'm going to be sending some cards his way, just as, you know, because I've had my shit stolen before, and it is not cool. Um, so yeah, I'll send him some stuff, and I think that's about it. So I will see you later, YouTube. Peace.